Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Dan General, also known as DJ Shub, the godfather of Power Step, and I'm here at the uh, Wake the Giant Festival in Thunder Bay. So we were doing a show in Panama. It was crazy times because we got out just before they shut a big festival that we were playing. They shut it down and there was a lot of people that got stuck at that festival for like 20 days. These are not ordinary times. It's just another hit for the entertainment industry. The closure list is long. As of today, all travelers returning from any foreign country are being asked to self-isolate for 14 days. Let me be clear. If you're abroad, it's time for you to come home. When we got home, we realized, you know, the situation we actually left and what the world was going through. And we were like counting our lucky stars, man. It was crazy. Today, my advice is to postpone or cancel all non-essential travel outside of Canada. Well, there, I didn't realize that there was going to be a long period of time before uh, we were gonna I was going to be able to perform again. My name is DJ Shub. I am uh, Mohawk from Six Nations, and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, what I do. It's called Pow Wow Step. Uh, as an artist, you know, live live music is, is a key a key opponent to, to who you are. And so it was scary times because it was it was the unknown. And we kind of were like, okay, this is this is not just something that's gonna, you know, spoil a few shows for us. This is actually people are canceling tours. So uh, that's when I kind of realized when it was gonna be bad. There was there were shows that were being booked, but we didn't know if these shows were gonna stay booked. You know, at the time, so. We were just going ahead and booking as many shows as we could, hoping, hoping that uh, you know we were going to be able to get out there and play again. But uh, yeah, it's uh, the shows. Sh some shows got canceled. Some shows, uh, you know, restrictions happened. What's happening, everybody? Happy Friday. Apologies if I sound like crap. I don't know. I'm feeling well, but I'm still here for y'all, man. It was it was a, a crazy time, you know, and it still is. I mean, nothing right now is 100% for, cert, for certain. I know that we're playing this festival for sure, you know, like and that's good. But, you know, just recently we've had to cancel some shows due to restrictions and, and all this stuff. So it, it's it's not how it used to be, where you're just kind of like you know what's going to happen. You know, it's all up in the air still, and that's yeah. what's kind of scary still. <laughs> Definitely a lot of rust getting back into it, you know, like I didn't, a rust that I didn't think I would have. But I remember the first show we did back, um, you know, getting back out there, I was as nervous as I was when I first started, you know, so that, those nerves still came back, which was like a good feeling, you know, I, I kind of miss those nerves, you know. Like, yeah. I think the most important thing here. Uh, and especially like festivals, uh, is creating that space for indigenizing spaces. So specifically in my music, uh, Power Step, my main goal is to indigenize spaces that normally wouldn't be indigenized. And, and to, 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 to be a part of a festival that recognizes that is a great step forward uh, for the music industry as long as, and for the indigenous people and non-indigenous people to come together and, and, and just have fun. <laughs> And, and make a cr comfortable space to ask, maybe ask questions about things they didn't know. You know, what kind, type of music is this? Oh, power music? What's that? You know, it's more than Cree, it's this, that. So, yeah, it, it's always good to, to indigenize spaces like this. Live music means inspiration. Um, that's where I used to get all my inspiration from, is going out, playing festivals, watching, other, watching the other groups, watching people uh, just vibing out and loving the music. That plays such a huge part as an artist, you know, that, that just motivates them to do more. And that's, that's one big thing that I lost, you know, during the whole pandemic thing, is that, that connection that we have as artists with the, the audience. And that connection creates everything, creates inspiration, you know? So that's what I miss the most, and I'm so happy to be here.